Um, who's somebody from the show do you think that they're not showing enough of? That's a great question. Oh, there you, thank you. you. There you thank go. You. Let's go. That's a great question. Trent, Tr- Tr- you're, you're up next. Um, yeah. I think that... I <laughs> I hope so. I'm. I got. I'm gonna try to think of one. I'm gonna try to think of a great question. <laughs> I think that. Uh, I mean, the reality is, there's not enough time to, to showcase everybody, mm-hmm. but specifically Kit. Like, like I think that. Really, it, I'm shocked think, by that. Yeah, I'm actually. I, uh, I think that um, Kit is is very impressive, and uh, she, she. Every time I had a conversation with her, the things that she chose to talk about. Like one of the conversations we had was like, I'm always asking the women to be vulnerable, be vulnerable, be vulnerable. And um, vulnerability looked different to everybody. You know, if um, like, let's say that that Trent grew up and he had to take care of all his brothers and sisters, like his life experience is going to be different from someone who didn't grow up with that adversity, but vulnerability looks different to them. And that's kind of what she explained to me. She's like, when I show up to you, my vulnerability is going to look different than any of these other women because they haven't had my life experience. And for her to have that wherewithal at 21 and just that maturity, when we would have these conversations, I was blown away. And so I don't think a lot of people saw that. So that one-on-one we had might've looked like it came out of nowhere, but in reality, every time I spent time with kid, I was just like, yo, she is bringing it. So. Yeah. And that's something that Chris Harrison did mention when he went through all the girls. He said, I think people are going to be surprised by Kit. You know, she's young, so people automatically think the worst. But I also think that's an interesting point you brought up because she grew up with a mom who's very successful and famous, famous designer. And you automatically you roll your eyes. You're like, oh, yeah, their life must have been so hard. But at the same time. There probably was some hard aspects to that, you know. You got to live up to your mom's name. It, it, there's, it's like you said, it's different than somebody else. It sounds like something you should roll your eyes at, but it's their life. Exactly. Yeah. Like, what do you expect from people? Like, it's, it's a life that I, I hope to provide for my kids one day. You know, I, I, we all work hard to provide X, Y, Z, and I feel like people are ashamed for when they get there and having those things. And uh, she embraces it, wears it on her shoulder, and and she's proud of it. And Again, as being the one of the younger women in the house to be that mature every time we had a conversation was like, yeah, it was it was, it was impressive. How impressed I because I I felt this way watching it. How impressed were you by Michelle? Because on your date, that to me, watching your face in those moments, because you do kind of wear your emotions outwardly. Like it's it's kind of it's easy to tell. I think sometimes how you're feeling and. Your face during that entire Michelle date, you looked like you were having an absolute blast. You guys had such, what seemed like such a great conversation. Uh, how was that date for you? So when when you go into something like this, you have to have the most open mind to anything that's thrown your way, whether that be new women coming three weeks in and in your gut feeling like there's something there. And that's what I felt when I met Michelle. I'm like, yo, I need that. I need time with her. I have, I've, I've missed out on three weeks with her. Like, can I get a one-on-one tomorrow? And, and everything that I was feeling was verified through that time and how, what she chose to talk about, what's important to her. Um, the fact that she's so intentional again with, with her thoughts and, and why she's there. Um, it, 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 it makes it hard, you know, because yeah. you have someone yeah. like that who is, you wonder why you don't think women like that are single, you know, it's like, like, what am I missing? Like, you know, so it was, it was, it was, it was hard. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And I do love, I don't, she like, so many people question their motives and whatnot. Michelle, I think made her Instagram like last year. So everyone was like, Oh, she's, she's just on Instagram now. So this girl, let's Point. keep, let's keep her around. She's a winner. <laughs> yeah. Trent, do you want uh, Trent, 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 like, this is your, this is your opportunity, oh, man. Boy. I'm putting you on the spot. But oh, if boy. Matt doesn't this say that Matt doesn't say this is a great question. He's getting really close to the camera. Yeah. The eyes are All open. Right. All right. I got one. I got okay. one. How great did all that foliage look in person? <laughs> when in Pennsylvania, all those leaves, all those beautiful fall leaves, how great did that stuff look? Trent, that's a great question. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes! Yes! <laughs> yes. You yes. know what? It, it actually is, though, because I lived in Pittsburgh, and when I came to Nimicon, 
the, the, the leads were changing. The seasons were changing. So I hadn't like being in New York, like we don't have falls like you do in the suburbs anymore. So right. being there, like the last time that I was in the suburbs for a fall and to see the leaves change was like four years ago. So yeah. being there just felt like I was at home and it was, it was, it was the perfect setting for romance. Amazing. Love we, it. we quickly, we know that, um, Tyler is showing up next week. We saw him in the preview. Can you, you're already laughing. So <laughs> yeah. I feel like Tyler's going to have a quite a, quite a showing. Is there anything that you can tease for Tyler's appearance? I'm going to give, since y'all are my favorite, I'm giving y'all the exclusive. You heard it here first. Oh boy. Oh, let's go. Tyler falls for somebody that week. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Amazing. The headlines write themselves. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Thank you for that, Matt. <laughs> Amazing. Wow. And, well, what and, and I'm going to add one last thing. Yep. Tyler falls for somebody that week, and it's not who you think. Mm. <laughs> those, are, that's, those are two good teams. That's, that's good. And also, it pairs with the question that we got asked on Cutting Stems last night. It was like, do we think that Tyler's going to show up and some girls that are there for you are going to be like, uh, <laughs> I kind of want Tyler instead now. <laughs> hey, I wouldn't put it past what's going to happen next week. Here we go. Oh, that good stuff, so good. guys. The teaser is good so good. Good stuff. 